G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. You're watching Flashlight Crazy. Real exciting one today. I've got four well tool lights here. Let me just get the fourth one. So I've got four well tool lights here. All of these are the newest additions to well tool in the last probably 12, 18 months. So 2023, 2024 models are all in my hand here. So I've got the new programmable well tool T12 here. I've got the rugged, just tough as you know what, uh, T17 here. I've got the mini thrower, the LEP14500 here, the W2. And I've got the Welltool T1 Pro Tack. So this is an awesome video. Can't wait to get into it and just see the differences and what the uses are of these guys. And uh, let's wait no further, let's get into it. All right, so as mentioned, just wanted to go over the four latest offerings from Welltool. So we have the T1 Pro Tack over here. We have the W2 LEP. We have the T12 programmable light. And we have the T17, the tank of the, of the, of the bunch. All right, so I might just move these to one side and we'll start from the left. So first one that we'll look at is the T1 Pro Tack. And here it is here in all its glory. So this is the... I don't want to say upgrade from the T1 Pro because most of the specs are the same, but it, it is the TAC version. Reason being is that the T1 Pro comes on in the medium mode, whereas the TAC version has actually eliminated the medium mode and it comes on in the high mode and it has low mode as well. That's all. And if you see there, we've still got the smooth reflector. We do have an updated emitter though. This is the 5000K emitter instead of the 5700K. But the lumens and candela and runtime are the same on high. So 540 lumens this has, and, that, and that's what you'll get every time you click that switch, 540 lumens every time. So hence TAC version, because it comes on in the highest output every single time. And that 540 lumens is pushed out by 21,060 candela. So that's going to give you a really, really long distance. Uh, it does say 317 yards. This is a, a pocket thrower at the by definition. Uh, and you'll get that for 38 minutes. So again, this, is, this wouldn't be your primary light unless one, two, three, four, click. That is low mode. And low mode is 86 lumens, which you'll get for eight hours and 40 minutes. So you wouldn't be using this as a primary light unless you were using it in low mode more often than not. And then you save high mode for bursts of bright light or epic throw. So if you had it in low mode and you needed to blind someone or you needed to see at a great distance uh, quickly, off and on because then it resets and it goes straight back into turning it on in the highest mode every time. Now, this is a hot spot and spill light. So we have a very, very crisp hot spot there, thanks to the 20 plus thousand candela and spill, very clear spill, very little bleeding, not much around the hot spot there. So, you know, the majority of the light is intensified into the hot spot, and but we have a fair bit of light uh, in the surrounding spill. Now, this pocket clip here has been upgraded from the T1 Pro, so it, uh, it it's not so pressed down at the top here. There's a lot of room there. I like that. That means you can put it on a belt, and because of the weight of it, you will just forget about it uh, once it's on your belt. So that it does make for a really great backup light, you know. As I said, could do a primary light, but you'd want to only use it uh, in low mode as a primary light. Now this uses a 14500 button top battery. You can use any brand. I've got an Ace Beam uh, button top battery in here at the moment, but it comes with a well tool one anyway. And it does have a silver stainless steel bezel there, which gives it a nice look, same as the T1 Pro. So I think maybe, uh, I could be mistaken, but I think Welltool may have offered this up to its consumers after feedback from the T1 Pro. Uh, a lot of people didn't like the fact that the T1 Pro came on in the medium mode first, and then you had to off and on to get to high mode. Whereas for me, I actually really like that. I actually think that it's clever because you have medium mode, which is your sustained output, which doesn't reduce the battery life uh, as quickly. And then you've also got off and on for high mode when you need it. So I didn't mind that. I thought it was great, but this is a great, great uh, upgrade, or not upgrade, but this is a great addition 
to the Weltall family because it is a very, very compact, very pocketable, very bright, very far reaching light. So it is, it is a phenomenal offering. It does have a forward clicky, see that? So you can momentary, you can signal with it as well, you know, give it some SOS or whatever. Uh, so it, it's a very useful tactical light uh, as a backup or a primary. So that's the T1 Pro TAC. Uh, very, very nice light, really love it. It's less than 10 centimeters long. And in fact, I'll just get the scales out to see what it weighs with the battery included. It's not much, it's very light, very compact. So there you go, we got 63.6 grams with the battery. So it'd be less than 40 grams without it. Uh, not too much else to say about this little guy, apart from that it's got some brilliant knurling on the body and, and the tail cap. The tail cap is raised or is a, is a little bit larger in circumference than the body. Obviously the head is larger as well. Makes for a very great, comfortable, compact little thing. So love this light. The next one that I'm gonna be talking about is an LEP. And this one over here, the W2, would actually be my go-to. It is my go-to compact thrower. Now, why is it my compact go-to thrower? Well, this thing uh, puts out 280 lumens and settle down. I know it's only 280 lumens, but hear me out. So this thing puts out 280 lumens, but it puts out 160,000 candle. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that the intensity of the beam, and thanks to the uh, LEP inside here, it is going to reach 800 meters. Yep, I said it. So this little thing here is my go-to, my designated pocketable thrower. This uses the same size battery as the T1 Pro TAC, except this, has, this is shipped with a very special uh, high amp flat top battery because it needs high amps to be able to sustain so much power and candela. But you do only get 42 minutes of runtime, okay? So you need to be aware that this makes a great light, makes a great thrower, but again, it is your compact, I don't wanna say backup thrower because, I mean, yeah, maybe it is a backup thrower, but the way I use this is I stick it on my belt or put it in my pocket, and I only ever use it if I need to see at a distance, and I very rarely need to see at a distance for a long period of time. So. It is my designated number one thrower for this for a compact thrower, but I don't need to see at a distance for very long. If I did need to see at a distance for a long period of time, I'd choose one of these two, or I would choose the older uh, LH1 head, which is my favorite well tool thrower. This thing is absolutely beautiful. 686 lumens, uh, about 600 plus meters of throw single output, just bloody fantastic, love this light. But it's not a new offering, so it's not in this video. So now this light is a forward clicky switch as well, so you can signal, you can off and on without clicking it. Once you click it in, you get your 280 lumens and your 160,000 candela, which will reach 800 meters. Look at that on my hand, just blasting. Very, very, uh, very hot on my hand at the moment. And it does have spill which is awesome. See the spill that's generating now, so hot spot and spill. So as you'll see in the night shots, it does give a great beam profile. Uh, but in addition to that, this does have strobe. So one, two, boom. And so I think, is it just one, two, one, two? No, one, two, three, yeah. So three, two half clicks and then a full click and you get strobe. And that is a very disorientating strobe, very good for tactical applications. So this is a great little tactical piece as I said, you're not gonna get a crazy amount of runtime, so use it sparingly and it will last for a long period of time. You definitely have a, a great pocket clip here, same as the T1 Pro Tac. This is brilliant for notching on a belt or whatever. You do have a different styled head than the T1 Pro Tac, obviously, because this is housing the uh, LEP down there. And it's called the SMD LEP light source. Body and tail cap are very similar, although not the same. If you wanna see the difference, there it is there, just some different patterning and things like that. But the size of it is pretty similar. Although, as you can see here, you can actually reverse the tail cap, uh, the tail cap, sorry, you can reverse the pocket clip to go over this area here on the T1 Pro Tac so that you can notch it on a hat. 
whereas the W2 you cannot. So this is just a handheld, uh, but what a handheld, I love it. Actually, let's see how, how much it weighs with the battery. So I, it'll definitely be a bit more than the T1 Pro Tac, but probably not by a lot. So yeah, look, 72.3 grams. So it's about five, six grams more than the T1 Pro Tac is. But as, a, as far as a compact, compact thrower goes, this, this is it all day, every day. This is it all day, every day. Uh, like I said, I have this on me a lot as a backup thrower, and that is just what I what I want. Like I said, I, I use all sorts of different lights for my EDC, but when it comes to a compact thrower, it doesn't get better than the Welltool W2. It really, really doesn't. So that is that there, and uh, just do a little size comparison. So it's slightly taller than the T1 Pro Tac, uh, not by a crazy amount. I'd say this is definitely less than 10 centimeters. This is a little bit over 10 centimeters, and if we just put that to the test there, yeah, there you go. So this is like 10 and a half, 11, not even 11. This is 10 and a half centimeters ish. And this over here is 10 centimeters or a little bit under. So pretty damn good guys. All right, so the next one, uh, which I believe is the newest maybe, or maybe the W2 is the newest. Anyway, the next one, uh, which is a new a new light from Welltool is the Welltool T12. And this is an 18650, although it is quite large for an 18650, but the brilliance of this light is that it is programmable. So we do have a smooth reflector. We have, we have an SFT40 emitter down there. Uh, this is running a very cool white emitter. Whoa, man, I always look at the wall. Jeez, that is so bright on the wall and on my hand. I'm feeling that heat uh, on my hand very much already. So this thing has uh, through hole cooling, see here? So that helps to cool the head when it's on high, which it was just on, or turbo. Uh, it does have heat sinks here. It's got a very large head. And the reason why it's got a very large head is because it needs that size to be able to pull in the amount of candela that it does, which is actually 141,000. So this, on, on the highest output, which is that, this has, and look how bright it is on the, on the white wall, but this has 2,000 lumens. So this is 2,000 lumens right here and 140,000 candela. So this thing goes a long, long way, 750 meters to be exact. It is a programmable light, so you can program it to one of three programs depending on your needs. I like to have it in program B, which is what it's in now. The reason being is that program B has a momentary low mode, and then as soon as you let go, low mode disengages. And then as soon as you click in, turbo. So I'm, uh, I, I, I like the extreme ends of the spectrum with a light for my bedside. Reason being is that if I get up in the middle of the night because I hear a noise, I don't want to automatically click it to 2000 lumens because I don't want to blind myself. What I would like to do is half press just so it's low mode so I know that I can see my way and everything like that. And then if I do need it, bang, I can click that in and there you go. It is just very, very, very bright. That is my preference for a bedside light and the Welltool T12 offers that perfectly to a T because that is program B. Program A and program C offer different things. They offer, you know, immediate high or immediate low or strobe and turbo. So you do have options depending on your scenario. This light is a great light for law enforcement, for a search light, for a, not so much EDC because of how big it is, but definitely a bag light, uh, bedside light, like I said, which is what I use it for sometimes. The fact that Welltool has come out with a uh, programmable light is very, very exciting. It's just so beautiful and cool. And in fact, in the hand, I'll just zoom out so you can see this, in the hand, it fits brilliantly. The, the larger tail and the thinner body and the larger head, just look at my hand, they just, it locks in. The tail is locked in. It's just at half press, full press. It's just fantastic. And even in fact, on this, on this uh, uh, setting, mode setting, if I half press from turbo mode, it goes down to a more sustainable medium and then half press again, turbo, half press again, medium. So this is a great light and it has great features and it's got the durability and reliability of Welltool, but now it's got a programmable driver, which is just woo, super exciting. I love, 
uh, love it when when Welltool innovates and does something cool because I love the brand. They're my favorite brand. Now, the pocket clip is just, I can't even, oh, there you go. Ah, the, I had to jam my thumb under there uh, to get it to lift up. That pocket clip is so strong. And look, there's remnants of my bloody nail. Uh, I had to jam my thumb under there to get this to lift up. So you have got no problem notching this onto a belt or a bag and going hiking or whatever, man. This thing is just going to sit wherever you notch it with that belt. I mean, with that clip. You do have some really, really, really tough knurling on the body and the tail cap. Uh, not sharp or coarse, or, or it is coarse, sorry, but not, not sharp or uncomfortable, but really tough. Like, it feels tough, man. Um, yeah, it's definitely tougher than the T17, which is interesting because the T17 is a tank light, but the knurling on this thing is just beautiful. And then the finish on the head is actually really nice and smooth, so it's got the best of both worlds. Uh, now, it is a large light. Obviously, both of these two are running the same battery, 18650s, but... Uh, it is it, so it is a large light, but you know it needs to be this big to house the programmable driver and to and to be as durable and to give a uh, a long throw. There is an inner sleeve or cylinder in here that I don't think you can pull out. Uh, I do think that adds to durability as well, but that's why you're running a, an eighteen six fifty, not a twenty one seven hundred. And an 18650 saves on weight as well. So, you know, a light this size in a 21700 would just be way, way too heavy in my opinion. Whereas, uh, when I say way too heavy, I, I mean that for me, you know, like too heavy for me to, to carry. But this thing here is, look at that, 223 grams already. So with a, with a 21700, you wouldn't quite get to 300, but you'd be pushing. Well, uh, so... I'll just leave that there because I'll use that for the T17. But this is definitely your designated, obviously, programmable light, but your designated uh, multi-purpose light because of the three mode groups, like I said, you've got so much options, uh, so many options, I should say, to, to use this in different scenarios. You know, security, tick, police, tick, any sort of law enforcement, emergency service workers, ambulance, uh, like I said, bedside light, hike light, this this thing can really do it all, guys. And it's it's so easy to program as well. Watch this. So you just uh, speed click and then it flashes. That means group A, that means group B, and that means group C. And then you just click it in when you want that group. Now, I'm in group C. Group C is uh, half press to turbo, full press to strobe. How's that for a bloody tactical light, man? Honestly, like you don't even need to think about it. If you need, if you need bright light, disorientating light quickly, you go to gro uh, mode group C, click it all, all the way. It strobes half press. It, it's turbo, or maybe that's high instead of turbo. Either way, it's uh, what a brilliant light. And now look, I'll just do this and half press in, and let's just click it in on on the first one, which is A. So what's A now? A is uh, Momentary turbo, click it in, it goes down to high, and then half press to low, high, low, high, and but momentary turbo. I mean, there's, it's just, options are endless. Well, not endless, but many options you have with this light, and I absolutely love it. All right, moving on to the final one of 2023 to 2024, well tool new lights. This is the T17. This thing is a tank. And I really mean that. This thing is a, is a tank. I did a torch test on it. I took it undone, threw it in the pool, uh, ran over it with my car, threw it on the ground from pocket level height or a bit higher than pocket height actually because I was up some stairs. Uh, this thing is, is a beast. It's a real deal. This thing has two modes. You click it on and you get your 600 lumens for three and a half hours and you will be able to reach uh, roughly about 240 meters. Then from off, one, two, three, four, click, and you've got your low mode. That's six lumens you'll get for, ready for this? You will get for 75 hours and 10 minutes. I mean, if 75 hours wasn't enough, you also get 10 minutes. So this is a brilliant light. It really can do it all in terms of durability. Uh, you've got more than five meters water submerging. I think it's at five meters, but I would be able, I, I would say you could take this down for further than five meters and it would still work as long as it's uh, all sealed up like it is. You have tail standing as well, whether it's got the uh, theorem switchback or not, you still have tail standing, which is very useful. Look at that down there. So that's an SFT 45,000K, but it also comes in 6,500K if you wanted some uh, some extra 
blinding ability. I wanted the 5,000K because I like to uh, use 5,000K for, for EDC and things like that. This is on the larger side for EDC. However, it is doable. It is definitely doable for EDC. Um, now, this is this is really a good uh, hiking light, I, I would say, or, or an everyday light that you just want to click and you've got a decent lumen output with decent uh, candela, four, 14 and a half thousand candela, and it's going to last three and a half hours like this. It is a uh, forward clicky, meaning that if you just half press, you do actually get momentary illumination and then let go and turns off. And I love the fact that it can hold a, a theorem. It can hold a theorem switchback or it can hold a theorem deep carry pocket clip. So it really is a, a, a rugged light user's best friend, this. And if we just take its weight with the battery and theorem, so it does take an 18650 and that is 189.97. So let's say 190 grams with the theorem and the battery. It does take a special well tool flat top battery because uh, you need the high capacity for the runtime. However, in a pinch, any flat top will do, uh, and you can run this with two CR123s as well, but it will reduce the runtime on high to two hours instead of three and a half, and it will reduce the runtime on low to 54 hours instead of 75 hours. But it's nice to know you've got that option. If you've got a box of CR123s and you take them camping or hiking or whatever, then if and when the 18650 runs out, you cannot charge it. You've got the CR123s. Same output, same candela rating, same distance, just reduced runtime. That's it. And now if you see here, see this reinforced bezel, that 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 inner bit there, that is uh, due to the, the durability of it. You know, So if you see this bezel here, this is just a standard bezel, whereas the T17 bezel, you can feel it in the head, man. This thing is reinforced. Very, very tough. The head is super tough. I ran over the head with a, with my car, did nothing to it. So really cool. In fact, look, it's just got a tiny little bit of grazing here from when I threw it. I did bag it up in a plastic bag so I didn't tear off the uh, anodization too much, but uh, or the finish too much. I don't know if it's anodized, but anyway, the finish too much. But just a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant light. Very tough, very comfortable as well, you know? Like even, even with the... Uh, without the theorem, it's comfortable. But with the theorem switchback, man, this is comfy. This is just super comfy to hold. And of course, you know, you can just uh, hold it like that as well once it's on. You don't have the ability to momentary on and off, which is what the switchback is actually designed for. Uh, reason being is that this tail cap is uh, shrouded so that it can tail stand, but you can hold it like this and just leave it on. And I guess if you got your knuckle in there, mm, Nah, it's, it is hard. You'd have to just switch it back and uh, and click it off. But I love this light. It's probably my favorite light out of the whole bunch just because of how durable it is uh, and how simple the, the interface is, you know. One click on, it gets you to 600 lumens and click again, it turns it off. If you, one, two, three, four, you do get your low mode. That is it. There is no other options to it. So if you're a simple-minded individual that just wants a very simple yet rugged, tough as nails light, then the T17 would be your best bet, I reckon. All right, so let's go check out the night shots and then we'll come back for some final thoughts and uh, where to buy all of these lights. I will get a price list for you in the comments as well. Uh, so just check out the, the comments so you can see the prices or I might just mention them in the final thoughts. See you in a sec. All right, first up, the T17. Check that out. Fantastic. Mm, I don't want to say searchlight, although it runs long enough to be a searchlight, but it's just a fantastic all-purpose light, you know? So this has got to be one of my favourite. This has got to be one of my favourites. Tough as nails option between 5,000 and 6,500k. Just fantastic. And then you've got the low mode just for the close jobs. <laughs> Boom.
bloody beautiful. All right, next up, the T1 Pro Tac. Looks to not as much light as the T17, but then again, it's a lot smaller. But the hotspot is the same size. It throws about the same. This might even throw a bit further, actually. Fantastic little thrower. And great tint, too, as well. I prefer this tint over the... Uh, T1 Pro. All right. Here we have the W2. Wow. Every time I shine this thing, I just am in awe at its capabilities. Because, you know, look, pitch black, bang. Look back at the fence, pitch black. Bang, this thing packs a punch, man, a sharp punch. Very cool, this thing. Very, very cool. Look at that. The spill on it's bloody incredible. It's a great shot. So useful. Alrighty. Finally. Oh, look at that. The T12. The monster. And what a monster. Crazy light, crazy throw, crazy everything. <laughs> Just spectacular. All right, that's Weltzel's finest for 2023-2024. See ya. All right, so starting with night shots, obviously the T12 throws just incredibly, but how's the light that comes out of it? The actual uh, illumination that you get from this thing on turbo is just incredible. I absolutely love this light for that. And as I said, makes for a great bedside light with uh, program B because you've got, you know, instant to low, instant to high. It's just perfect. But then the, T, the T17 the t is like your rugged, throw it at a wall, like go camping with it. Just don't even worry about, you know, it, it getting damaged or thrown in a lake or river or whatever. This is just like your camping, hiking, just everything best friend. This is the toughest thing ever. And the fact that it takes a theorem switchback and deep carry pocket clip is just phenomenal and I love it. Then of course you've got these two beauties, you know, one of them can be doubled as an EDC light, but you know, it does, it, it, you do need to kind of one, two, three, four to get to the low mode. So that's a little bit annoying if you're like in the cinemas or something. So it's not, it's not all EDC uh, availability in, in this guy, but much more EDC capabilities than this. There's no EDC capabilities in this whatsoever. This thing is a friggin' blazing light. How's the distance you get on this thing as well, by the way? The spill that it gives you, the distance, the light, 280 lumens, 285 lumens this has got. And it just pumps distance, man. This thing is awesome and I friggin' love it. But the T1 Protac. You know, it's great for just like your backup light. Yeah, you know, if I just need some LED form, you know, I, I'm not looking for the LEP right now. I'm just looking for the LED, but I still want compact, still want the ability to kind of, you know, maybe blind or get get at a distance or whatever, just at the press of a button. 
the T1 Pro Tax, the one for you. But I love this for a pocketable thrower. The W2 is my designated pocketable thrower, man. Honestly, it was the, as I said, the LH1 beforehand, and that would still be my designated thrower for sustained use, prolonged use. But, you know, the this guy, 40 minutes is plenty for me in terms of seeing at a distance. So... I, I love this guy. But I mean, check them out. Oh, it's not blind myself. Check them out here and here. Hang on. Check them out here and here. There we go. So LEP, LED. So you, you've got the see the hotspot and spill type of look here as opposed to just the hotspot with, you know, small amount of spill around it. Does grow at a distance though. But, you know, that's your difference. So one of them, this guy's seriously just, just a thrower and a tactical light, whereas this can be used as several things. But look, these four are four of the best, man. And for Welltool to have come out with all these four in the last 18 months is just incredible. They are smashing it out with innovation. So well done, Welltool. And uh, look, as ter in terms of prices, what I'll do is I'll link all of these individually and I will even put the price next to them so you don't even have to click on the link. Just scroll down right now, just scroll down and you'll see, um, click the see more maybe on the description and you'll see all the prices next to each of the names. And then below that, I'll link the, uh, the, the actual link. So I'll link it to Welltool Direct, and I will link to lightshop.com.au because Lightshop, it, uh, I don't know if Lightshop stocked these yet, but Lightshop will be stocking every Welltool product. So I will link Lightshop, the Welltool page, and then I'll link all these individually at Welltool Direct. All right, great. Now, thanks very much for watching, guys. This was an awesome video. I just love Welltool. As you know, they're just the best, and these four lights are just friggin' fantastic. Until next time, stay cool and stay safe. See ya.